a little more. Hold it, Sheila. Yes? Is there anything you want to tell me? What do I want to be when I grow up? Okay. Young. That light. Don't you have anything softer? Come closer. Can I sit on your lap? Do you always come on like this? No. Sometimes I'm aggressive. <laughs> All right, Sheila. Tell me about your parents. My parents? Tell me about your mother. My mother. My poor, dear, sweet, gray-haired, darling old mother. She was raised in an orphanage by nuns. They wouldn't let her go out. God damn it! Now, can't anybody up there hear me? Just let your hair down. Can't you talk? All of you, just talk to me, to each other. Jesus Christ. Better? Your mother. Right. My mother was kind of middle-aged and frumpy. Whose isn't? At 14, she was middle-aged and frumpy. <laughs> Is that the kind of woman your father liked? No, my father liked them very young, tall, and filled out in all the right places. Anyway, uh, God knows why, they had this daughter, me. And just to get away from her frumpy, middle-aged life, she used to take me to every ballet that came to town. I think probably because it was cheaper than getting a babysitter. But that's when I saw that movie, The Red Shoes. You too? It changed my whole life. I saw that movie 112 times. I swear on the grave of my mother. Go on, Sheila. Well, let's face it. My family scene was, uh, not good. Daddy always thought that he married beneath him. That's what he said, that's what he said. When he proposed, he informed my mother he was probably our very last chance. And though she was 22, though she was 22, though she was 22, she married him. Life with my dad wasn't ever a picnic, more like a come as you are. When I was five, I remember my mother dug earrings out of the car. I knew that they weren't hers, but it wasn't something you want to discuss. He wasn't warm. Well, not to her. Well, not to us. But everything was beautiful at the ballet. Graceful men lift lovely girls in one. Yes, everything was beautiful at the ballet. I was happy at the ballet. That's when I started ballet class. Up the steep and very narrow stairway to the voice like a metronome. Up a steep and very narrow stairway. It wasn't paradise. It wasn't paradise. It wasn't paradise. But it was home. Mother always said I'd be very attractive when I grew up, when I grew up. Different, she said, with a special something and a very, very personal flair. And though I was eight or nine, though I was eight or nine, Though I was eight or nine, I hated her. Now, different is nice, but it sure isn't pretty. Pretty is what it's about. I never met anyone who was different who couldn't figure that out. So beautiful, I'd never live to see. But it was clear, if not to her, well, then to me, that everyone is beautiful at the ballet. Every prince has got to have his one. Yes, everyone is beautiful at the ballet. I was pretty at the ballet. 
I was born to save their marriage. But when my father came to pick me and my mother up from the hospital, he said, well, I thought this was going to help, but I guess not. A few months later, he left and never came back. Anyway, I had this incredible fantasy life. I used to dance around the living room with my arms up, like this. And in my fantasy, there was this Indian chief. And he'd say to me, Maggie, do you want to dance? And I'd say, Daddy, I would love to dance. Yes, everything was beautiful. I would love to.